chest. This is just kind of our collect all. I store everything that I know I'll need eventually. Gotta have a safe, dry place to put everything. Our old nesting box in need of some repair. Slow down. We're going to be putting three pieces of strapping on here to secure the nest box. So I need to drill three holes. These are self-tapping sheet metal screws, but these holes being rounded and you're trying to get the self tapper going, it's tending to slide all over the place. If you pre-drill it first with an eight inch, eight inch bit, it works a lot better. Four and a half inches to get it level. That's gonna be too much, I think. Let's see what we can get. Then we're gonna be screwing a two by four on edge, just using these Urban Quick Crimp clamps. In order to get it through the chicken wire, you just gotta slide off the yellow. We're just gonna flush up the bottom end. <clears throat> I'm just using two inch deck screws. And for the next one, I'm just gonna flush it with the top, putting it on its side. So we have three pieces of strapping, 61 inches long, two pieces of two by four, 48 inches long. And now we'll go ahead and we'll mount the nesting box. <laughs> One screwing on one end. So I do like this end first. Like over here? Like up on that end.
This is a nesting box that was given to us, used, so this will be our third time setting it up. And I had this back piece, I took it off. Come to find out we need it, it holds the bottom part of the nesting box in place. But luckily, I still had it in the back of my truck. I hadn't made it to the dump yet to throw it away. This back here has a lip on it. I screw it all back in. I'll show you what we need that little lip for. So this part of the tray goes down and in. And it sets in. That's what holds that in place. Is there's a lip on this and there's a lip on this side. And then we got these. So I've enjoyed having the pigs out on the pasture all summer. Moving them twice a day has been fun. It's, they get all excited every time they get on fresh grass to see what they can find. But now, when it's getting darker in the morning, and Olivia having to get on the school bus so early in the morning, I'm kind of looking forward to having the chickens in here. And not having to be outside at first thing in the morning, moving around in the dark. Now we'll be able to have them in here. It's a different season, I guess. They'll be a little different in here. It'll be kind of interesting and fun. I'll be excited come summertime to get them back out on pasture. So, it's funny how the seasons change and you look forward to different things. video is going a little bit long. We got the nest box in, I got the hay in, so it's going to be a part two for getting the chicken coop ready. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up, leave comments down below. We really like interacting with you guys. If you have any ideas on new videos you'd like to see, leave them down below too, that'd be great. Share the video, it really helps. We're on Instagram, we're trying to post photos once a day on Instagram, so you can keep up to date with us there. It's Lumna Acres over on Instagram. We're on Facebook, Lumna Acres also, and YouTube. We're posting a video at least, at least a Friday or a Saturday night, and we're trying to do one during the week. We're hoping to do more. We'll see you right back here for part two of getting the winter chicken coop ready for the chickens. And we'll be bringing the girls in before you know it. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you right back here next time.